Madison and welcome back to my channel happy new year happy end of holidays um I am excited to be showing you what I got for Christmas this year just want to put this out there I am not trying to brag or anything um over the last couple years these videos have always been my most or some of my most popular videos so if it ain't broke don't fix it um i was waiting on one of my presents for my parents to come in and it got here today so what like two weeks after christmas but when you're 19 you don't really care anymore um it's the thought that counts and i just had such a fun day with my family and it was one of the best christmases i've ever had despite everything going on in the world so i hope y'all enjoyed your holidays no matter what you celebrate um so I just wanted to start off by saying that I, again, not trying to brag, I'm very, very grateful for everything I got, um, and I, anyone who knows me, especially my family and my boyfriend knows, I go maybe a little bit too nuts with giving gifts, um, so, <laughs> regardless, um, here we are, I'm excited to show y'all what I got, and yeah, let's go. Before we get started, don't forget to tell me what your favorite Christmas presents were down in the comment section below. I'd be really interested to see and hear about everything that y'all got. Anyways, let's get started. So I will start off with some of the smaller things that I got and work up. We'll start off with just these two items. These are... <laughs> I was showing my mom these on the USCA website, no, USCF website on Black Friday. All of their Pony Finals merch was like not so cheap, like $150 Ariat jackets for like $35. Um, so my mom got a couple items for my sister and I just because we are always running through hats and riding shirts and things. So she first just got me this black hat that has the USCF Pony Finals logo on the front of it. Um, nothing overly fancy, but it is a very nice hat and I'm always in the need of new hats. Like I said, mine get disgusting in groves and it's always good to have one like just to keep in your car, in your barn bag, um, just kind of everywhere. So this is super cute and simple and I'm very grateful for this. And then she also got my sister and I matching sun shirts that have the Pony Finals logo on them again. These are from EIS and they're just white sun shirts with the navy mesh underneath the arms as well as navy detailing on the zipper. They have the cute little custom um, collar that actually is the Pony Finals logo which is super cute and again it's hard to go wrong with just sun shirts and show shirts um if you really wanted to you could probably throw a stock tie over this and nobody would know if you got your other show shirt for dirty or something um and i love just like the shirts with the mesh underneath so this will be nice again i have not gone to pony finals i would love to go someday and even just watch but um affordable clothes hard to beat this next item will come as no surprise. My mother was so generous to gift me a pair of the Carrots Affinity Ice Filled Breeches, which I have raved about forever. These have been my favorite pants for literally since they came out, what, was that two and a half years ago? One and a half years ago? I don't even know. Um, they're a relatively recent pant and I got them within the first month of them being released and I have been absolutely obsessed. My mom's taken a few of my pairs, we got her more for Christmas, um, and she gifted me a pair of the full seats, which I have actually not tried. Um, I typically go for more of a Euro seat or like the knee patch that they sell has a Euro seat, which I love, but I'm very excited to try these just to have a little bit more security in the saddle. So these are just the color sand. I wear a size small and they look just like this. Um, so they have this amazing classic affinity fabric. I honestly not quite sure what the material is called. 
This fabric is unbelievably amazing. So, so hard to beat. It's almost, um, it's a bit thicker than a tight, but still super, super breathable. Not quite as soft, a bit, um, I wanna say scratchier, but it's really, really comfortable. Um, it's honestly just like an amazing, almost canvassy material. They're so comfortable, so flattering, fits so well. They have two inch um, belt loops, so you can fit just about any belt in there. They have the classic carrot sticks on the back, which is just their little rubber sticky detailing um, shaped like carrots that just gives you more security and stick in the saddle. Again, their knee patch breech just has the carrot sticks along the knee patch. They also have a zipper on the front as well as two buttons and then two zippered pockets. These pockets I honestly don't use all that much, but it is nice if you just want to throw some treats or something in there. Then they have the classic just sock bottom with the ice fill material running up the side of the leg to give your leg more breathability when you're riding. And of course we don't have a Velcro bottom, which I love. Um, these sock bottoms, which don't have the Velcro, are just super comfortable, run super nicely into your socks. They don't get bunched up in your boots and overall are my favorite type of bottom. Um, I've had Velcro bottoms and the Velcro will just curl. It'll get stuck to my socks. It is just super, super thick in that one spot. So I love these overall. I've been rambling about these and y'all know how much I love them. So there are those. Um, I cannot say enough good things. <sighs> my grandfather spoils my ponies or my sister and I's ponies so much and gave us each a four pound bag of these carrot and spice flavor nuggets. And then he also got us a 25 pound bag of I believe their Purina apple horse treats. Regardless, we now have 34 pounds, no, we now have 33 pounds of horse treats that our horses will get to enjoy over the next 50 years, I guess. Um, so um, these are nice. These are just a good little snack. Um, we try not to give Penelope too many treats just because she's a pony. We don't want any metabolic disorders, things of that sort, but um, you gotta reorder when you can. I also got a new helmet bag, which was super, super nice and generous of my parents. Um, this is from Ariat, and I have not tried any of the Ariat bags before. Um, it's just the Ariat team helmet bag in the color navy. It has this nice navy white and red ribbon um, running up the middle here that is also used on the handles. It has these nice magnetic pockets here, which would just be great for throwing in a pair of gloves, a hairnet, what have you. It has two zippers on the top, which is so nice. And when you open it up, you have another pocket there on the inside and this nice um, kind of waterproof material here that'd make it super easy to just to wipe down if it got dirty on the inside for some reason. I have had equine couture products in the past for my helmet and boot bags. So is my sister and so is my mom. Between the four of us, we own five, between the three of us, we own five products, I wanna say. And in the last two years, only one of them has not had a zipper break. So as much as I love the company, I cannot continue to afford to support a company whose zippers literally break within a year um, on over 80% of the things we own from them. So I'm very excited to try this out. I hope it works um, nicely. I'm sure it will. Ariat's an amazing company and you can just feel how nice the zipper is and it's probably not gonna fall off and the little claws are probably not gonna break. So i um, very excited about this. And the reason I got this is because I got a new helmet I got a new helmet, please pardon the tape. There is so much, oh gosh, drama around getting this helmet. This is the Charles Owen AYR8. I tried to buy this thing in November, like November 8th I wanna say, and it is now January 5th when I'm filming this video. And I finally have it. Um, 
like I said, this is the AYR8. I have been wanting a new helmet for so long, but have not been really willing to spend a lot of money. Um, we did get this helmet off of eBay just because you can find amazing deals on eBay. It was brand new, has all the tags and everything on it. it, has the most updated standards, which I am very excited for because of Pony Club. And it is absolutely gorgeous. This is the black on black. So it has the black mesh and underneath part here, as opposed to like a silver or a gray. It just has the classic leather um, lace up in the back. And this thing is absolutely beautiful. I have two other helmets. I have a GYR8 and then a JR8. And the GR8 I have had for about eight years now, I want to say. I literally did it. I literally bought that helmet the day before my first walk trot show, which is saying something, which was in sixth grade. And now I'm technically in 14th grade. Um, so that was a long time ago. And then I an, I acquired an I acquired a GR8 over a year ago, over two almost two years ago actually. Um, that was way too big for my helmet or for my head. Um, didn't fit me very well, and it was not brand new. It had the most updated standards, so I used it for Pony Club when I just kind of filled my hair into it. But as of right now, I do not have a Pony Club helmet that fits my head and is like up to standards and things. Um, other than my skull cap and I don't know I love my skull cap but sometimes I just want something with a brim that I can put a visor on and just looks a little bit less sloppy than a skull cap um, so I look great don't I um, regardless I'm very excited about this so thank you mom and dad because um, it is beautiful so thank you all so 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 much for watching today's video i hope you all enjoyed it don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and let me know what other christmas presents y'all got down below um again i'd love to hear what your favorite gift was mine of course was my helmet and my new affinity breeches so excited um i will have to show y'all pictures and things once i start wearing them i'm so excited and happy holidays have an amazing amazing 2021 i hope everyone just has a great start to the semester i start school in two weeks i want to say um so i still have some time which i'm grateful for but um thank you all so much for watching today's video i love you all so much peace out bye